Hello guys, this is Alamu Films Media, ready to bring to you the testimony show, coming soon. Hello guys, my name is Patricia from Alamu Media Films. Nilikuwa mtu wa kuomba, nilikuwa na hesa tafuta job, kila mali unaenda unaambiwa kuna job. Nikakaa tu chini nikafikiria nikajiuliza kwani hii maisha inaniendea nje. Sina msimamo, sina mbele yani sina nyuma. Uh, in the book of John chapter 9 verse 17. Uh, the story is about the blind man who was healed by Jesus. And verse 17 says, finally they turned again to the blind man. What have you to say about him? It was your eyes he opened. The man replied, He is her prophet. Hello guys, my name is Edwin Arula. I am a member in the Habu Films Media. Ready to present to you or to bring to you a new show called the testimony show. Tune in, follow us all time for to get new updates in whatever we'll be uploading. So about the testimony show, we are going to tackle a lot of things into this show. Na hivo kitu to ambacho na jaribu kwa imiza ni kwamba uh kila mtu anahadithi yake ya maisha. Kila mtu ana mambo ambayo ameipitia katika maisha ndipo sasa akaweza kufika mahali ambapo amefikia. Hakuna mtu amepitia mambo mazuri hadi akafikia katika mambo mazuri ambayo yako nayo. Watu wameteseka, kuna wale walikuwa wagonjwa, kuna wale walikuwa maskini na siku ya leo unapata maskini amekuwa tajiri. Unapata kuna mtu alikuwa kiweta lakini leo ameponywa. Tukiangalia katika Biblia Yesu alifanya miujiza mingi sana. Yesu aliponya vipofu, aliponya viwete, alifanya viziwi wasikie, alifanya vipofu waone. Ali, yani alifanya paka mwanamke aliyekuwa anatoka na damu miaka 12 akaacha kutoka na hiyo damu. Na huyo mwanamke alipoguza pindo la Yesu, ndipo hiyo damu iliweza kuacha kutoka. Na huo ulikuwa ni kama ushuhuda. Baada ya kuguza nguvu za Yesu, akapata uponyaji. Kwa hivyo ninachojaribu kumaanisha ni kwamba kila mtu ana hadithi katika maisha yake. Na chini ya hiyo hadithi ama juu ya hiyo hadithi kuna ushuhuda juu yake. Kuna wale walikuwa wagonjwa, wakafanikiwa wakapona kupitia nguvu za Mungu. Kwa hivyo through this show the testimony show, we are going to testify our lives, we are going to testify our stories, we are going to testify our victories and each and everything that God has done upon our lives. So tune into this show. If you have a story, contact us or reach on us on our social media platforms and we will post Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hello guys. Once again, this is the Habu Films Media. Uh, we're going to bring you a show by the name The Testimony Show. Okay, sit back, relax and enjoy. Welcome. Okay, let, let us have a reference from the word of God. Uh, in the book of John chapter 9 verse 17. Uh, the story is about the blind man who was healed by Jesus. Uh, verse 17 says, Finally, they turned again to the blind man. What have you to say about him? It was your eyes he opened. The man replied, He is a prophet. So we are seeing that, that the blind man testified that Jesus was a prophet. Uh, we are going to have a reference from one of us having a testimony that will encourage us. Welcome our sister Maureen. Thank you. Hi guys. Kwa majina naitwa Maureen na nimetoka the Habu Film Media. Na kutoka leo nataka kushukuru Mungu. Maana Mungu amekuwa mwaminifu kwangu na amenitendea majambo mengi. Na mimi mkiniona hapa mimi singeitwa mtu na kwa kweli Mungu amekuwa mwaminifu. Mimi nilikuwa kwa hali mbaya. Nilikuwa sijiwezi, nilikuwa ni mtu wa kuomba. Sometimes ningejiuliza kwani kwa nini mimi na but one day nilikutana na pastor mmoja. Huyo pastor akanielekesha kwa njia ya Mungu. 
Halinifunza akaniambia dadangu usikufe moyo. Na kaniambia ukijua huyu Yesu atakusaidia kwa kila jambo. Nilikuwa mtu wa kuomba. Nilikuwa na hesa tafuta job. Kila mali unaenda unaambiwa kuna job. But I thank God for today. Mungu anisaidia. Wakati huyo pastor aliniongelesha nilienda kwa kampuni moja. Nikaenda nikafanyikiwa nikapata kazi. Kutoka hapo my life change. Na ninashukuru Mungu. Ndio maana mimi niko hapa kwa advice kila mtu uwe kijana, mzee, mama usikufe moyo. Amini tu na utatendewa. Najua siku moja wewe pia utakuwa na ushuhuda ya kupeana. Na kitu cha kwanza tafuta uso wa Mungu. Na kila kitu utataka utapewa bure. Yeah. Thank you guys. Be blessed. Amen. Amen. Wow. Hello guys. My name is Patricia from Tarabu Media Films. I would I would like to encourage someone with my testimony. It all be, began when I was little. I was a little girl. Knowing nothing, I think so. And for those who have step step fathers can really understand my story when I keep to get it out. My mother got married to a, a step daddy, like not the dad whom I used to call my daddy, my biological daddy, was so violent. And then they they divorced and she got married to another father. And the, the, sec, the stepfather was too harsh on me. He didn't want me as his child to a fact that he could even beat me up. I could even stay without food. It was too hard for me, like in the manage. How did I manage it? Sometimes Ningenda Nyombe Nyambe good God. Now that see me minimally create a thing to, to happen the way it is, I'm very sure and Tamaliza Shule. Because sometimes I'll go on a katata kunilipia school fees and it was like you are not my kid, your mother should pay your school fees, your mother should give you everything you want and to be honest, my mom Akwana Kazi, she's a housewife, so the little she get from Kulima and Vibarua, that's what she was she was paying my school fees and I used to feel bad with the other kids when I work on my Missouri and I'm there Nikiambia Mamangu I regret the reason is why you got married to this man now on a bilana and I will reject Anna and Taki Tena and then you'll make a mom to talk and my mom was like now I can do nothing to be honest we shall have our daughter now we will babako and they are grown up and so let me just push you being the first born a time will come and you you utakuwa mkubwa and utajua vile utajisimamia kama wewe and it was too hard for me too difficult na nilikuwa nalemewa sana shule na like me na nasoma ina 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 in a day school and the other kids wana soma in a boarding school to even imagine your rejection when I fail kabisa kabisa and many of the times that I'm zombie you are, you, are, you are sent home for school fees but I had nothing but then it was a time I, I was to drop out of school to from three to go and to work as a house girl to, to pay my school fees and that's when I came to Nairobi I almost worked like for almost like two years Mm, being a house manager, yeah, and the money I collected, you can say the kurudi back shule, nikasoma, and then nikimaliza nikamaliza form four, and when I nilimaliza form four, I still came back to I did nothing, and siku anataki kana kwa family, I still came back to Nairobi, hustled for my college school fees, nikasoma, and I thank God. So I want to encourage someone out there. 
usijione eti imekuwa rejection rejection has been my my thing from childhood na ni manage in in reference to the bible i want to say hata jesus alikuwa rejected na watu na kuwa rejected na watu doesn't mean that hata mungu amekusahau no god has your future na kwa hapo akuwe na wewe na kuongoze kwa kile jambo so just, what i want to say is Let's trust in God. Give hope in everything. Be a go getter out there. Do your work. Mungu yuko na atakusaidia. Thank you. Amen. Wow, wow Patricia. That's a big encouragement to us all. Let's hear from our sister Sharon. Sharon, welcome. Hello guys. My name is Sharon. Kutoka the Habu Films Media. Niko hapa nikitaka kushare testimony yangu na yeye. Na nataka kila mtu anjifunze somo. Na tukue pamoja. Testimony yangu iko hivi. Nikiwa nikiwa shule ya ya upili nilinjiunga nili na kikundi kibaya sana. Walimu wakakuwa wananionya siwasikilizi kila mtu akiniambia hata sisikii hata sitaki kuambiwa sasa ikafika mahali hata marafiki wakanitenga juu ya kikundi yenye nilikuwa nimejiunga nayo nikasoma tu hivi nikingangana nikingangana nikamaliza shule tu vizuri although siku siku perform vizuri lakini nilingangana nikamaliza maisha ikaendelea Penye iliendelea nikajiunga na hao vijana wa mtaani. Tukao tunatumia tu miadarati, sigara kama ni sigara nimefuta. Pombe nimekunywa pombe. Nikakuwa tu mtu ajielewi. Kwa barabara watu wakiniona hivi hawangedhani kama ni yule msichana tu walikuwa wamezoea kuona. Hiyo maisha penye tu nilikaa tu hivi hata watu wakubwa walikuwa wananiita wananiambia si urekebishe tu hapa wakiniambia mimi nilikuwa najiona tu mimi ndio najua kila kitu sasa ikakuja ikafika tu mahali siku moja nikaenda nikaenda kulewa tu na wenzangu vile tulienda kulewa pombe wamenyekea kitu kwa nini kwa pombe na sichu nilishkuja kushtuka nikanipata tu niko peke yangu sina mtu Yaani hata sina kitu. Na nilikuwa tu nimefanywa tu mambo ya ajabu ajabu. Sasa nikakaa tu nikakaa tu chini nikafikiria nikajiuliza kwani hii maisha inaniendea nje. Sina msimamo, sina mbele, yani sina nyuma. Sasa nikaamua vile tu kila mtu amekaa mbali na mimi, mi nikaona kwanza wacha nirudi kwa wazazi wangu mimi kaenda kwa wazazi wangu vile nilienda wakakaa kama pia wanataka tu kunitenga pia nikawalilia nikawaambia sasa mimi nitaenda kubadilika na nikuwe tu mtu mzuri vile niliongea tu hivyo mama ka, mama akaingia tu na huduma akaniambia twende nikupeleke kanisani uombewe na utubu dhambi zako na Mungu atakushinda ata atakushindania. Bila tulienda kanisani mimi nilienda nikaombewa nikatubu na maisha yangu yakabadilika. Nashukuru tu Mungu kwa kwa umbali amenitoa na hapo amenifikisha. So nataka kuwahimiza nyinyi wenye wana watatutazama haijalishi umepitia mabomu ma, gani. Haijalishi ume, umepitia wapi? usife moyo kuja kwa Mungu Mungu atakushindania kama aliweza kunishindania wewe ni nani asikushindania Mashukuru Mungu sana kwa hapo Yeah thank you Sharon for that big encouragement uh, truly God is a prophet and Jesus will never leave us alone So how do you guys there Come and share your stories with us. We are ready to host two as the Hub Films Media. And by this show, the name Testimony Show, we'll get some encouragement and 
your life will still move on. Praise God. Amen. Amen. So we thank you so much. Thank you for your time. We are coming back soon. Bye. -bye. Bye.